Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hedgehog Academy. And today uh, we're going to do a short video on bringing the subject forward after you've laid in your background. Okay, this is contemporary. This isn't traditional and all that kind of happy horse stuff. So anyway, just kind of bear with it and go with the process and enjoy the process. Or, you know, go take an oil painting class. <laughs> and my name is Kevin. Yeah, and here we go. So I'm going to use titanium white. I'm just going to pull... I'm going to pull some of these areas forward just to give an impression. I want you to also notice how long I work. And I've been out here, I did a previous video, but before that I studied where I want to begin and I decided I want to start with titanium white. Okay, about 20 minutes. Yes, follow my 320 rule and it will save you a lot of heartache. Why? Because you won't be fighting with your brush <laughs> and you won't be fighting with the painting. So for this, I'm going to use a filbert, a fairly large one. And I don't use a palette, I always just use paper towels. So this is kind of thin for me, but I just well, I just roll them up. In fact, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, paper towels. And don't be a paper, soft, paper towel conservative. Oh my God, Kevin, you're wasting paper towels. No, because you're going to use it four times. Four times. So I'm going to take it like so. I'm going to fold it. I have tried this with sponges, with rags, with clothes, with everything else, and everything else people have suggested, this has been the best way, okay? Now what this does is I can wipe my brush on it, pull out the excess water, it leaves a wet spot. So then what I can do also, I can put paint there and loosen it up. So there's an advantage. When this side gets completely covered, I flip it over. When that side's done, then I open it up. Do the same thing on this side, so four turns. When that's done, then I open it back up and I pull off the excess and I've got more, I got more area underneath. So, you multiple use, okay? That's all I'm going to say. And I just clamp it to my table. And I'm going to pull that one over there. And you can see, like this one here, okay? And here we go. So, I'm going to take this. And you want to make it, you want it back to being absorbent again. So a lot of times when it has paint like this, get past where it's like all, you know, you know, not working and flip it back over. And in fact, I'll just do this first. This should be okay. And then I clamp it back down. I think I'm gonna clamp it down. I've already done this many times, so. Now what's funny is the kids at school, I was showing them this and they've used the same paper towels probably for about two weeks running. So it lasts a long time. You just have to keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you my setup on my side here so you understand that I really don't use a palette. Okay, here's my setup. So I've got my tubes of paint here. I got my water here, two types. Dirty water here, clean water here. You can see that. Yeah, hopefully you can. And then I got my paint here, so no palette. Just so you know, I'm not doing anything magic with my hands, okay? So here we go. This should be pretty quick and fast and easy. So I'm gonna grab my filbert, dab it off on my paper towels, just like, a, wow. Dab it off on my paper towels like you see me doing here. I don't do this. I got, you know, you really wanna make sure it's cool and damp to your hands. So I pull it off, cool, damp, not running wet because water will repel the acrylic paint. Now, also when I load my paint, I load it to the end of the brush, like that. And that's even maybe a little much too. And I'll do this. It takes all the high spots off and stuff like that. I got my reference here. So all I'm gonna do is come here, establish some more groundwork. And it also depends on what I'm doing and also and for some reason this canvas loosened up on me. I don't know why. I'm not happy. Now a couple things that are happening right now. Okay, one, you can kind of see. The color is still showing through there. It doesn't really, you know. So 
So it's really translucent too. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. Really translucent. And there's the tail. Because I still want to be able to still see my lines. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to come here. And black there. I want to make sure I got this. I want to make sure I see all my sketch lines and stuff like that. I don't want to hide those yet. Okay, here, here, here. Got it. I'm going to come up here. And my brush, for all you beginners, never touches this canvas unless I'm looking directly at where I want to paint. If it's not where I want to paint, I don't put my brush down. I do not want to do that. That's another mistake people make is when they start painting, they will look here at the reference, here, and they never look back, and then they wonder why they mess up. So in my case here, my eyes are always on my reference, always. Now notice I'm not really, also another thing I'm not doing, is I'm not making, going straight, I'm not making it perfect, right? All I'm doing is just dropping in this titanium white. Now, there's some light spots in the shadows. Now, most people, they make a mistake. They think that's white. Don't do that. Okay. Now, I've got about maybe three minutes into this, would you say? So one thing you can always count on is you're going to make mistakes, but that's another reason why we do the 320 rule, just for those mistakes, okay? So you want to keep that in mind that no matter what you do, you're going to have problems. So you might as well get used to the idea. Now a couple things that happens here, you can kind of, it's almost like a ghost image, isn't it? Yeah. But that's right there tells you that I can work over top of this and I can feel comfortable with where my lines are. Because I don't want to go in too thick, because if I start going in too thick, then all of a sudden, you know, I'm hiding those lines and hiding my sketch. And then I have to start going really figuring out what the world there. Also, another thing I do is it's kind of rounded. So you'll see me square things off a little bit, especially on these wild horses and animals. And when I do that, it has a tendency of making them look a little more male. Type thing. So let me do this. Hit that there. Okay. So now you can kind of see his butt coming around there a little bit more. And, you know, but it's also, you can still see some of the color showing through on you here too. That's an important element. And I'm going to just take that load off my brush. And I just want to put whatever's on there on top. And then I'm looking for little nuances at the same time I'm doing this. Okay, I'm going to start adding. I'm going to do that. Some of these light spots, okay? So then my brush goes in my dirty water like this. Oh, you can't really see that. Sorry about that. Oh, hang on. My brush will go. I have two waters, dirty water, clean water. I clear it off. I clear it off with the dirty water first. Dab it off and back in the clean water. This clean water helps it stays, helps the brush so I can keep loading it more and I don't have to clean my brushes all the time. So, three minutes, I'm done. I'm gonna study this a little bit and where my next thing. Now I used a light, right? So now if I want, I can use a mid or a cool. So I can use a, a white basically balances out. If I wanted to, I got cool. I can still go in here and do a warm but I'm not going to that because that warm will be really hot. It'll pull things really forward. And I don't want to do that. If I was going to do that, I'd use quinacrinone nickel azyl gold. And that will actually be down the road. But that adds a little bit of warmth to it. But like I said, blues, I'm trying to concentrate on blues, I'm trying to get my blues in there. So anyway, I'm going to pull you off the, I'm going to pull you up here so you can kind of see this thing a little bit. And so you can see what I see. Okay, so you can kind of see, I just dropped it in, 
you still see all the colors going through here. You know, I don't want to lose those because those are important. So I'm just bringing the horse out of the background. Now I'm sure there's 50, 100 million things, different ways of doing this too, which is okay. This is just mine, okay? In my way, you know, if you're watching my videos, it's going to be my way. If you're watching somebody else's video, it's going to be their way. So anyway, I hope this has been inspirational and informational. You can always contact me here at the studio through uh, Kevin West Bowers Fine Art One, the number at gmail.com. You can contact me through my website, which I think I think is www.ke-binbowers.com. And there's a contact sheet on there to do that. Or you can call me here at the studio if you're local, 480-764-0422. Uh, I will answer all questions. Make sure they're after five or six because I teach from uh, six o'clock in the morning till five o'clock at night. So I yes, I have a regular teaching position. So yes, I do what I say I can do and I teach what I say I can do. So anyway, guys, everybody have a good one.